All right, what's going on, guys? This is boys Ooch, and today we are, of course, back again once again with another Power Rangers Dino Fury episode review. And uh, this one was a little bit more leaning towards the lightheartedness with the theme being surrounded around bad luck. So you could definitely expect some kind of one-liners and cheapy dialogue. But yeah, it does seem like six episodes in, we're finally getting into that kind of writing style with within the lines that the rangers have to say so without further ado let's just get right into it so episode six is titled superstition strikes and it starts off with void knight threatening the generals to defeat the power rangers so yeah we're kind of just getting right into the heap of things it seems like void knight is tired of losing constantly to the power rangers and that obviously is something that a lot of commanders will be mad about considering that this is a trope i guess if you will in a lot of the power ranger seasons what what villain wouldn't be upset about getting destroyed constantly by the power Rangers? moving right along there is some terror in the town and the rangers are called in by you know local bystanders and find that this monster to be actually is amelia's grandpa he was just cleaning windows on top of a ladder i don't know how he was able to get up on that with all of those tools and whatnot but he did look like a really big monster covered in soap so it was kind of funny i guess the rangers do offer to help him clean the windows because i guess he thought that what he was cleaning was something that he could handle but i guess at his old age which to be fair he, he didn't look that old to be honest he definitely was at least in his maybe like 60s or something but i, I guess that is pretty old huh so they offer to help him clean this three-story building and right as they are about to help him amelia accidentally walks under a ladder that triggers this whole episode's title with it being all about superstition and of course if you don't know there's plenty of different types of superstition whether you believe it or not and walking under a ladder is definitely one of those things so right after she does walk under this ladder they explain like how oh like that's not something you should do da 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 but of course Ali being the scientist and only believing in science to prove things he of course thinks it's a bunch of malarkey and he does not buy into this whole superstition idea but funny enough Amelia does rip her shirt but it was only like a little tear it wasn't like something like too big but I guess that is kind of unlucky so because of all her bad luck she gets discouraged and decides that she's gonna go stay away from the rangers so that her bad luck does not mess up anything else that's going on at that moment so as she walks away she discovers a sporex turn into a monster and gets bodied by it she tried to fight it on her own she had a little quick morphing sequence with just saying it's morphing time no mention of linking to the morphing grid at all it was a very quick morph like i said and she does call the rangers but her morpher at this time after you know she got the, the them hands was actually broken so it, it does look like her bad luck was taking full effect and was happening very uh lively and in action as you saw it happen also of course this monster that defeated amelia was the monster of the day and this monster's name was boom tower so when her morpher was noticeably broken the mucus monster actually took her morpher and took it back to the base so i guess the villains this episode definitely got a bunch of w's against the rangers this time around what's even crazier is that once the other rangers did come to her aid zato does the t-rex fury strike and gets countered by this guy so this is actually one of the first times i think we've seen this move get treated as such so that was definitely i guess something to note that was interesting zato brings her back to the base so that way she could help zolong and it seems like they're trying to make her yet another morpher so that she doesn't have to sit on the sidelines for too long back to the villains void knight plans to fix the morpher to invade their base and of course do more bad and evil things i'm sure we've never seen this idea happen before then right back over to amelia and zolon amelia is afraid ultimately to go back and help the team out all together but zolon does do the robot team leader thing and explains that luck is all in your head and how you see things but unfortunately amelia was not trying to have any of that and denies the advice and chooses to stay far away from everyone so we could obviously tell here that amelia is still very very discouraged in considering and taking into consideration that with everything that's happened today so far is obviously on her mind and at the forefront so back to the rangers we do see our morphing sequence of the episode and this time it only comprises of four of the rangers out of the five we're seeing zato ali javi and izzy do the full morph and unfortunately for them they get bodied and call amelia for help but as she's getting called for help the signal gets cut and one of the generals actually gets into their base so it does turn out that they were able to fix it with no problem amelia then morphs and fights the general manages to teleport 
sort them out and destroys her morpher that they fix. So it did seem that luck was starting to shape up for Amelia after all. Funny enough, I did want to note this, that the Rangers all of a sudden had started to had an, have an easier time fighting two of the generals instead of one of them as soon as Amelia brought in this second one. And it was, like I said, I don't understand why four on one was too hard, but then, you know, you give the enemy another villain and give the Rangers one more Ranger and all of a sudden it just the tables turn just like that well whatever <laughs> shortly after this boom tower does enter his big monster fight sequence make my monster grow part of the episode zato enters the t-rex champion zord with javi and izzy notably not actually choosing to combine the green and black megazords with uh, the t-rex champions or they actually all ride the one zord which i mean ultimately i guess this isn't too far out to imagine or see but considering that this is zato's solo zord this is the first time i think that we're seeing something along this line where we're seeing three of the rangers cockpit one main zord rather than a combined version but ultimately like i said the main portion of the zord is in fact the t-rex champion zord and the other ranger zords are basically just used as extensions if you will amelia calls on the blue and pink zords to combine with the champion zord and then the dino fury zord hammer formation is born which basically has the pink dinosaur at the head and brings upon the hammer as the left hand weapon so at this point it seemed like amelia was just calling all the shots for the planning she wants to swing the pink hammer like her grandpa taught her but instead accidentally hits a piece of metal from a building that oddly enough caused a very convenient domino effect and ended up blocking off the villain's blaster weapon and this is probably the line of the day from Izzy, and she goes and says, that is the most convenient thing ever. I actually laughed out loud when that happened. So the Rangers win with the Dino Fury Mega Hammer Slam for the Dino Fury victory. <laughs> also, I guess this is an honorable mention line of the day. Right after they defeat the Boom Tower, Izzy does say an okay Boomer line, and I was actually shocked that this line happened. And just for the shock value, I can't really say shock value, but I was just like surprised, but then not surprised considering what day and age we are in right now and i was laughing at that line as well because i was just like wow we're really living in a timeline where power rangers are actually saying okay boomer <sighs> to wrap up the episode we do have a good takeaway though and that is from amelia saying that the only way to move forward is to look for the good things in life and of course she does pay respect to Zolan because Zolan is the one that taught her this and the episode finally ends with Ali getting pinched by Amelia because he actually did agree with what she said and then Amelia pinched him because he was like oh like I can't believe that we agree on something pinch me this can't be real so she pinches him and when he gets pinched he accidentally breaks um one of the car mirrors uh, that he was I guess standing in front of and they explain that, oh, if you break a mirror, that's actually, I guess it, it turns out to be seven years of bad luck. And of course, Ali being, you know, all about that science, he was like, nah, son, that's not real. That can't be a thing, da da da. And then what do you know? It ends with a very funny sequence of him just kind of getting bodied by anything and everything around him. And he says something along the lines of, what laws of physics did I upset? And Amelia responds, I don't know, but you can't blame it on bad luck. And of course, the usual, let's all stand around in a circle power rangers laughing together oh, ha, 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 how silly and then boom episode done so like i said overall the episode wasn't too bad but it is heading kind of in more of that silly line one-liner territory that i don't really think they were focusing on all that much so far but again this is six episodes in and i do feel like we are heading closer and closer to the end of this first portion of the first season or the first half of this season and it does seem like some of the writing can possibly change i'm not really sure about that but overall the episode wasn't terrible I, I did enjoy it for the most part and it was very like i said at the beginning light Hearted, and nothing too crazy out of this episode happened it was it was a very standalone episode that didn't really have any ultimate payoffs or setups for future episodes to come and like i said in the last review i really do hope that the next episode does entail a javi specific episode considering that amelia just got hers 
and Izzy basically took the spotlight for the last two. So that's enough out of me, guys. Those were all of my thoughts for episode six of Power Rangers Dino Fury. Let me know what you guys thought about this episode, what you liked, what you didn't like, and what you're looking forward to in episode seven and beyond. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, hit me up on Twitter, all that good stuff. Make sure you guys are checking out my other videos as well. I just did a full review on the rise of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Nickelodeon cartoon. Since I am still on my Ninja Turtles kick, that I, I don't think I should really call it a kick anymore. I feel like I should just say that, yes, I am really heavily invested in the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. So go ahead and check that out. And also check out all of my recent uploads as well. And make sure that you are paying close attention to any of the links that I do have in the description below so that you can continue to support your boy and all of the endeavors that I am undertaking. Take care, guys. May the power protect you. Keep it locked loaded right here on this channel. Stay safe, stay clean, stay inside. I will see y'all next time.